Oh my god, you can get free packets of wasabi here. Like, like you can just... Hey, what's up and welcome to my first vlog. I'm Arya and this is Where's Arya? I could show you guys for my first vlog and I asked a couple of friends what they want to see and out of everything that I can show about Japan they said that they wanted to see the grocery and so that's what we're going to do talking on the speaker so I'm surprised that there's not usually it's like really noisy in here so <laughs> we should go here like when it's in the afternoon it's not noisy at all and it's not bad <laughs> here is all the frozen food and like all the fresh fish but here there's never a person who does you know how when you have like let's say in the butcher's area or like in the fish area do you have it like when they're in front of you? Or when it's in front of the person? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it's like laid out and then you just like order like what kind of like fish you want. You point it and then yeah. you put it in a bag. I've never seen anybody like stand behind the counter, both in like the meat section or the, the food section or the fish section. And then, but it's all like pre-packed already. In your country, is it like that? Oh, sorry. This is Dom, by the way. Oh. Hey. <laughs> he's my, he's from the States, so. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna try to compare like from the Philippines and from America as well. Yeah, so you can get them like, in packages and stuff, but most of the time like we have them cut it up in breakfast and stuff. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's also with us with like beef and chicken. You can also get it in like bags and stuff, but usually it's not like just laid out like this. And then here in this area, this is one of my favorite areas in the grocery. This is the sashimi area. So they already have pre-cut sashimi. In the Philippines, we don't have it pre-cut. It's literally like in cubes look like this and you kind of have to ask like hey can I, can I have like a sashimi cut or whatever but here they already have it like cut for you so what i usually do is i get different kinds of sashimi which looks like this and then i can just put them in the bowl and put them with rice and then put them with these kinds of sauces see so you can actually make your own already because they already have like the sauce ready so that's tip number one. Oh my god this is the thing i love you can get free packets of wasabi here. Like, like you can just... You can just get it, but don't... Only get what you need. Only get what you need. If you're gonna come here to Japan, and you kind of just wanna like stay home in your Airbnb, you can just go to your local grocery, and you can buy different kinds of sashimi right here, and make your own poke bowl. And I'll tell you, or make your own like sashimi plate, so it's like less expensive. Alright, now we come to the meat section. So, usually there are bigger groceries that have bigger sections of like their fresh food and stuff. But this is a small grocery because like, well, it's a small grocery. So, here, there's also no person behind the counter and they also have already been free package. And, if you look at the meat here, it's like, look at the marbling of this meat. Like, the marbling of that is... <laughs> Well, it costs like eleven dollars. This is eleven dollars, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. About eleven dollars in the US. Yeah, this is like around like five hundred, almost six hundred pesos. But yeah, look at the marbling of this. And usually, like they have like akiniku, they put it on uh, like a grill plate. And oh, something I have to tell you guys is sometimes when it's not bought, so they put like these stickers, and then these stickers are signs that it's discounted. So another tip is if you just want to have your own yakiniku party in your airbnb you can also buy it watch out for these discounts and you can also have your own little steak dinner because these steaks also get discounted so as you can see 
come over here. It's also discounted, so you guys can get this. is really, really good steak as well. Okay, and this is the chicken section as well. Here we have like the chicken breast, the chicken thigh, and they're already like cut for you. You already have them in like cuts like this, so it's easy to just fry. You don't have to cut them anymore, but they're whole ones, but right now they're not here. And the only bone that I see that they really sell is the one like here, the one with like the wing already. It's already like the wing. Or they even take out like the bone and the, the wing. You know, <laughs> that, that wing part is like, <laughs> they take out this part. <laughs> Yeah, so it's just, it's just like this. Just... <laughs> Is my eyelash getting out? Okay, so right now we're at the rice section. And one of the things that really surprised me about the rice here is that it's actually microwavable. So if you see that they, ha you can actually buy them in individual packets. So let's say that if you have to go to work and you have to buy rice, like there is rice that's microwavable. So you literally pop it in the microwave and it becomes like this Japanese fluffy rice. Oh, this thing. So if you look at this, this is uncooked rice, but it's already like separated into like oh, that's cool. individual packets for like one cup of rice if you just need it. Oh, wow, wow, wow. So here's the miso section. The all kinds of miso. I never knew that there was so many, like, there were so many kinds Different of miso. Different types of miso. Different types oh, of miso. Oh, I didn't know that. But one thing that caught my eye when I turned this way was this. Okay, I don't know if y'all know this, but the Japanese actually have this thing. It's called hangover soup. And you hangover drink, soup? Yeah. You drink this the morning after you drink. Yeah. Um, so that you feel better. Really? Yeah, so this is basically hangover soup, so... That's crazy! Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, don't, I don't know if it works, but... Yeah. You, I drank it when I had the hangover and it works. Actually, when I drink miso after a hangover, like, it makes it all better for some reason. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't yeah, know if yeah, it's yeah. a placebo effect or whatever, but it does make me feel better. Okay, so right now we're at the ice cream section. And usually, like, in Japanese groceries, like, there's so much ice cream. Different kinds of ice cream. So, yeah. they're even, like, so cute. They even, like... I've never seen it. grocery because they have like a lot of seasonal ice cream flavors as well because I know Japan loves their seasonal stuff like even McDonald's has a seasonal menu you know? so you can easily like buy sushi yeah. here in the supermarket there are different kinds of bentos as well that you can buy so you have like this one yeah so you have like the maki you have like the rolls like the maki as well you can even get one little piece oh my god if you just need that Why one piece that? because what if i wanted to buy one i guess so you can get this one little piece for like 60 for 60 yen so it's just 30 pesos as well so you have like your fried stuff as well in this section you can buy ready-made okonomiyaki as well Famous here in Osaka, yeah? Yes, yes! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okonomiyaki is a famous uh, dish here in Osaka. So if you come to Osaka, you have to try their Okonomiyaki. So another oh, tip, if your Airbnb is near a grocery, make sure to come by this section and see maybe you want something like for like a late snack or maybe just lunch before heading out to like see the temples or go sightseeing if you want to save some money. So you can go from your Airbnb to a grocery, buy the stuff, eat, and then you can go about your merry day. Because for sure, usually they do have a section like this where you can just grab something and go. That's tip number three. Japan, I was wondering why they had li these little cans and I have no idea like why would you have a tiny can but I researched and they said that there are these tiny cans because a lot of beer drinkers say that the first sip is the best so they literally made the can for you to just have the first sip it's another size so you have this like tiny ass size and then you have this other size as well and usually these sizes are like this size that's what they bring to the graves when they visit their 
relatives. Oh, that's right. Or sometimes they put it in their mini fridge in the mini fridges and like the hotels as well. Or if they have like a, just a tiny fridge at home, like you can actually just buy these little ones. So you have this size, this size, this size, and the big ass size that I can't carry in my hand anymore. And they also have alcohol free beer. Yeah. yeah, and it tastes like beer. It huh. tastes like beer. Yeah, and then you also have like your normal strong zeros. If you know your strong zero, I'm sure you've heard about it everywhere. You have like the 9% ones. There are also ones that are like 5%. This is my favorite. The 5% are like the 9%. Oh, and you also have your highballs. They also have highballs ready in can. Like the Suntory highballs. Yeah. So, so good. Okay, now we have like the Shokupan. So basically, this is like the normal bread. So usually, one of this, one whole, it's not exactly a loaf because this is actually one part of big loaf. This is actually called like a one tin. And then one tin, one slice is called the maigiri. So they cut it into different kinds of slices because some people from different regions in Japan like a different kind of slice. And just in general, you want like a different kind of slice depending on what you want to make. So they have like the eight, they have the five, the six, and like the three and the two. So yeah, that's the thing. That's the tea about the bread. Okay, so we have arrived at well, the last stop. I, there's so many things that I want to talk to you guys about more, but I don't think it can fit in 10 minutes. So we'll just go to the last stop that I feel you guys will enjoy, which is the snack section. So if you go to the snack section right here, we have all kinds of different snacks and they're all in like small packets. You don't really have like the really, really big ones. You know, like like the ones like in the States, you have like the jumbo size. I mean, there's, there's one over there for like the potato chips, but usually like they're not as big. It's one of my favorite Japanese snacks. And I don't think you'd know that it's... I only found out about this from like, my Japanese friends. And this is called Hati Pan. Now, I don't know what's inside this, but it's like sweet and salty. And you call it... Well, the powder that you put, it's called Hati Powder. I don't know what that is, but it's so good. It's so good. You guys have to try this when you get here. Yeah. My eye just went like... <laughs> <laughs> but you guys have to try this. Happy pad. Check it out. Oh, also, I've been holding this since a while ago. This is called Tongari. Tongari corn. When I was a kid, I didn't know how to read the hiragana. So I used to call it chubby corn. Because this looks look like it's look like chubby corn. There. It looks like it says chubby corn. So my sisters and I call it chubby corn. Like this existed in the Philippines already, but we never really knew what it was called. So we just called it chubby corn. But it's really Tongari. So dumb. Also, another snack that you guys should try when you guys are here is the Country Mama chocolate and white chocolate cookies. I think These it's like vanilla. Vanilla, yeah. vanilla, and like double chocolate or something. These are so good. A must try. A must try. Must must try. And you also have different kinds of pocky as well. They have like these salad flavored oh, pocky. No. And then they also have come over here. here. They have the salad flavored pocky. They have the strawberry flavored pocky, chocolate, and they even have tomato? Tomato pocky? Tomato like yeah. yeah. And yeah, and then they have the roasted, roasted pocky as well. There you go. the black thunder this is another sweet that you should try when you come here it's like this chocolate cookie just, just try it when you get here like it's so good at mcdonald's during the winter they even have a black thunder mcflurry black thunder really good made my family and friends try it back home they loved it all right i know that this is a totally different place to do my outro i had to go catch my ride coming to work so I'm gonna go end it here. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you on my next vlog. Mat